Before this video begins, I have a quick little announcement for some of you. I have to tell you that if you like my content, and you like E3, I'll soon be doing an E3 video talking about at least the three big companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. If you want, keep that in mind, you can subscribe, and you'll, instead of just having to look up Zero Productions every two days, just to see if I made one of those videos. Again, not mandatory whatsoever, totally your choice. Enjoy the video. So in case you did not know, Apple came out with this home desktop PC that runs the macOS and it looks like a trash can. A $6,000 trash can. That would be known as the Mac Pro. Well, finally, after over a thousand days, Apple is announcing a new update to the Mac and it was pretty much expected after the announcement of the Mac Pro. And guess what? You'll never guess what it's called. It's the iMac Pro! Hey! Hey! Ha! Now some people are gonna think after that short little clip that I hate the thing. Well, actually, you'd be dead wrong. But before I talk about that, let me talk about my history with iMacs. Basically, to sum it up, my friends used them. Some of them still do. But I've almost gotten into the iMac so many times, but the price range always killed it for me. I loved a lot of them. I love ev almost everything about iMacs. But I just, I sort of gave up on getting one. But the iMac Pro though, it looks, it looks awesome. Like, let me just show a quick little trailer of it. And if I do get a copyright strike, oh no, okay, I don't care because my channel is small enough that I don't make a dime off of YouTube. I know in my last video I did a Mario Maker thing where I didn't want to get a copyright strike, but whatever, I don't even know what I was thinking. So that's everything we're updating today. But it's not actually everything we want to show you today. Now the iMac line has incredible breadth. It spans from an entry level system that's perfect for use at home or in a school, all the way up through that powerhouse 27 inch model, which allows professional customers to create amazing things every day. But that said, there's another class of pro users who would love to be able to take advantage of the iMac's display and design but they need workstation class performance that can't possibly fit into an all-in-one. Well, we wanted to challenge that assumption, and so we've been working really hard to see just how far we can push the iMac. Now, this isn't gonna be shipping until the end of the year, but I'm really excited to be able to give you a sneak peek at what we've been up to, and here it is. So that's the trailer. It looks pretty trailery. And uh, 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 it's an iMac Pro. So this thing is going to have the new AMD graphics card. It is going to have a like I'm pretty sure they they said it'll have two versions. One with 11 teraflops, which is almost times two, uh, is is almost like two times of the Scorpio. And another one that's 22 teraflops. You know what you could do with 22 t like teraflops? You could like, um, I, like you could probably have like thousands upon thousands of Google Chrome tabs while 50 like Sony Vegas projects are rendering, and you're playing, um, and you're playing uh like the new, you're playing the new Half Life, Half Life 3 if it ever gets made, on full settings along with Doom being played. It, like, that, that's what you can do with, okay, yeah, I'm over-exaggerating, but that's pretty much what you can do with 22 teraflops. It was gonna have 8 cores, then it had 10 cores, and then they added 18 cores. 18 cores, 22 teraflops. It'll also have a brand new cooling system, which looks interesting, so it won't be as loud as my computer right here. But yeah, I, of course I want one. Everyone wants one. But the thing is that the reason I really want one is because, is actually, like, the, the main reason is just because it looks amazing. Like, 
even if they I have even if they're selling like because the thing has a 5k monitor so even if like they sell a $500 version oh but by the way the 22 teraflop one is $5,000 which is uh, still a lot of money but it's $2,000 to build it um, to build th that type of thing and it doesn't come with the best in class 5k monitor but if they had a version that like $500 or something that had a f just the 5k monitor with the same Apple design I would buy that because I love how the thing looks but uh, uh, I, 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 I love all-in-ones because, like, I, d I really dislike laptops now. Like, I understand their importance, but if I were to choose between a laptop and a desktop, I would most likely get the desktop unless the laptop is, like, way more powerful. But, or I, like, already have the tower. But, yeah, that... Uh, but, uh, I, I can't, I can't express to you how much I let, I love this thing. Like, my friends think, like, a lot of people I talk to it about, they say that it's like, oh, it, okay, it's not a big deal. But I think it's a huge deal. Like, everything Apple Pro, he also thought that he's psyched for, psyched for that. I'm psyched for it times a million. That, like, I, uh, 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 I, uh, 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 guys, make sure to donate to my Patreon. To help me get an iMac Pro, I'm I'm not actually being serious about that. I I'll, I'm not even gonna open a Patreon with 66 subscribers. But yeah, I love this freaking thing. I want it to come out earlier, but I guess I understand they're still working on it. They have to get it out by December. But still, the thing looks awesome. It looks like even even the guy, what's his name, Tim Burton, I think it is. Even he said it looks badass, so that's how you know it's gonna be like the greatest, uh, the greatest design ever. Okay, I know I probably sound like a huge Apple fanboy, and I'm not a, a huge Apple fanboy. I just really like this thing, and I like how powerful it is. They advertise VR a lot, which is good. I I'm very into VR, and yeah, the thing just looks amazing. All right, guys, so please leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and see you.